Hello and welcome back to my playthrough. We're on the second episode with Guthrie the Harry. And on last episode, we managed to just get the county of Mallorca. So we are just heading back to see if we can get this army disbanded and then we're on to trying to get to Barcelona be becoming a duke for myself of Barcelona though I do also have my cousin and rival the Count Sonia of Rossello, Rossello. so we need to remove him from there so it is going to be a little challenging as we do have some more domains than that we are what we can handle. So I'm just going that so I'm gonna see if our wife is going to be able to hand help with this. So what we want to do is Put her to the Madame Manage domain and see if that helps. Yes, that helps with that one. For now, so that brings the domain limit to five. And we're on playing, we're going through 873. And where we left off, we should be able to now invade Sonia. So declaring war. And they have very little chance of defending us. So let's get right in there and get that taken over. So once we've got this done and over with, we want to look at increasing our holdings so that we can gain some more gold and help her bring up our levies as well which will just increase our power for power and help towards going towards oh one of our knights has been wounded victory we have count some years, so we should be able to bring that to a close. We gain the contested title, and the hostages will be released. Off we go. There we go. Greetings, cousin. My may wisdom ever elude you. You are much a greater threat. threat greater throw than I imagined. In order put to put an end to, blood, to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. And we have his last county. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat there. And we disband the army. And uh, we now need to get everyone into place. I'm going to see if we have any thing we need to look at. We've got dangerous faction above domain limit. That of there. And that of there as well. Uh, nothing here to oh, going to be concerned about. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, so, what was the hint about my liege? We can claim our liege's title. So, we need to build upon this. So, what are we missing in that? We'll probably need the majority there. Or can we take it by force? 
Use a Cassus Belly. Our claims. That would be all fine there. And let's check. Has something. Oh, the map. Oh, the my spies informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus at the local tavern. The man has been spending large amounts of gold and bragging loudly about the great deal he struck with a fancy lady in pearls and silk. <laughs> a lady? Apparently, he drew a map of the local hills for an unknown noble woman. The spies think the lady must be scheming against me or one of my subjects. So, thank you for bringing this out to my attention as the first option. We will gain 30 stress because you are vengeful and will then become more vigilant for the next five years. Or, that idiot belongs in my dungeon. And what would happen if we do that? We would get Chorm, who is the the hunter, I expect. Our uh, first opinion was lost from him. And we imprison him, yep. And he becomes a known criminal, traitor, allowing you to imprison Jorm without being viewed as a tyrant. And we gain more vision for five years. As we're vengeful, we better do what's safe there in character. And to him, present him. There we go. So I was just looking back at my claims. So if we declare war and we get the claims, we get to declare our claims. Duke Bernard loses 25% opinion for 12 years, and he can try to imprison me. If we fail, and butchered, well, God, all Gunnides loses 15 opinion of me, of Guthrie, for nine years, declared war on their child. <clears throat> so, we get everything there, and we gain the duchy, if we get it, yes. I think we want this, yes. But let's have a look. Oh, uh, the military strength there is inferior to ours, and they have 1,681 men. Compared to what I can bring, plus my allies. And that's the important part my allies are what they can bring which is 3,465 men in total, and we've got more gold than that. So I'm not, as we got a hook on them, I'm not gonna do it so far yet, but let's see what we could get on that hook. So we could offer Duke Burnett to ward, making him or someone in his court the guardian of a chosen child. And let's have a look at his skills. His skills are quite good, so let's go with that, I think. Or we could re negotiate our obligations to him. Let's do that. So, we want to lower our taxes. Yeah, so let's go with lower taxes and let's lower our levy contribution. And we go across over to here and use the hook. Okay, so it's too much. Let's go with normal. There we go. Let's got the benefit of taxes there. So let's modify the vassal contract with them. Yep. 
Alright, go. We have lower taxes. That helps us increase our money income. To 3.3. Gold per month. And there's just this PUC uh, army appearing as we just get this uh, encounter with our son, Bermond, a brewing troublemaker. While I have come to expect mischief from my son and heir, Bermond, his crazy fatigue keeps me on my toes. When it is not a prank, it is a brawl, a disgruntled tutor of Grey's knees from an adventure gone wrong. Bermond de Barcelona against the trait Rowdy. Never a dull moment. Right, I'm just going to check on my age at 34. And we have to the cocky Count Guthrie. We have been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. No more, we are done paying your new taxes. Once your coffers dry up and your larders are empty, you will wish you had treated us more fairly. Ooh, this is the peasants. So, we could, I guess, I could grant a tax leniency every county in their faction. The county level will change by control level will change by 75 and gains increase autonomy for 10 years. That's a big problem. Oh, uh, never a peasant's loss is to serve their lord. Every county in the faction, the county level is changed by minus 25. So it spawns an army of peasant rebels proportional to the county's levies. Ah, uh, this... I'm not sure how many counties this might be, so... I'm just gonna go... Take that, value the troops, and squash them down. Let's get them off. So go and take out these peasants. Oh, I don't know, I see something. Yes, he's finally increased the county control there. Oh, invalidated. The peasant uprising has ended. It is no longer valid. It was no longer valid to continue. Ooh, so they've seen my power, or they probably had their county control go up high enough. They're happy now, so gotta bring my army back into disbanded. There we go. And as I was going to do this, Oh, it's brought that down as well, so which one's red? Which one's the reddest? They're both reddest. Let's go with this one. Gonna check. See if we got someone better. That uh, could do you much better. William Gal A court physician and knight. He's got 15 marsh skill. That's better. I'm going to take, do that and put him into that path position. Actually, could Gusbert, where could we put Gusbert? Could he move over to here? No. Gisbert's not good at physically anything else. Okay. We're just gonna have to deal with that. So I'm gonna assign Gilliam Galsia to be our marshal. Uh, 
There we go. Makes life a little difficult. You'll probably end up leading a, a, a faction against ourselves. But I'd rather have that 15 rather than 10. So we can get these back under control as quickly as possible. So we've also got this one who's not under control either. No county control. And it's giving me all the war information. What war still we got going on? Oh yes, this war all the way in Ireland. Let's see how look. doing too well. Let's take an army. That was my man, man. So I'm gonna raise let's raise the full army. Yep. And head into here. That means they're going to go all the way onto the shores, taking 14 gold to embark on boats and ships and head through the Mediterranean, through Gibraltar, and heading up all the way to help my ally all the way up here. A Mandian conquest of Ormond of Desmond has been defeated. We lost the war led by Chieftain doing that. Just as I send in them some help. Right, it's time to disband that. There we go. So next now, if income's gone down, I can see the income has gone down here for some reason. That's not good. And what's going on here? Ooh! Let's look at my traits. Ooh, it's true. The life is talk of free. The value of good children is sharp wit. Ooh, very good. And um, we've got something going on here. We're being raided by Count Estein. Hostilities will end in two months. They're having some walls over there. And also, how much manpower do they have? 2,500. And then they got allies 2,700. Whoa. Oh! An encounter. Unyielding defender vassal. My ignorant vassal, Mayor Bennett, is known for his powers and military matters, especially in areas where I have found myself lacking. Will you teach me, Bennett? Or I have better things to do. So we could pay Bennett 15 gold and he gains 150 prestige. Possible outcomes, 66% training is successful. Regain the trait of unyielding defender. Or thirty-three percent chance the training is unsuccessful and we don't get that, that trait. Or I have better things to do. Maybe some other type and we lose seventy-five prestige. I'm gonna go with let's be taught it. There we go. So that so what's this? The Alsark 
That's gonna be hard to fight them. And who's in this one? Oh, it's being come to counties. Oh, a duke turn, it was previously a duke turn, now it's gone to a county. Ooh, let's have a look. Religious convictions. I have gotten an idea in my attempts to align Mayor Graysbert to my interests. With the right arguments, I may be able to convince him that I am acting not merely in my own interests, but in the interests of the Lord himself. I believe I can make a very convincing argument where we have a learning challenge of 67% chance of success and Gusbert is convinced and we gain 75 prestige and Gusbert gains 50 opinion of me or 32% chance Gusbert sees through my efforts and he we lose 75 prestige or perhaps I should keep to diplomatic niceties and Mary Gersbert gains 30 opinion of me. Let's go with that one, yes. That's ended. That one, I just noticed some notes that I come through. And, ooh, my acquaintance, Germ, died. He has died in my prison. Ah, oh, I wasn't able to. Um, investigate probably and talk to him find out what's who it is doing uh whatever he he was hired to do because i understand if his map's being drawn out that's usually for murder plots and beard that why do we have you there what could we get from you can't ransom you, we can release you, or we can execute you. Let's have a look at the releasing. So we could demand conversion, gain a recuck, or a crew. Uh, is he a good soldier, a good fighter? No, he's not a good fighter. Okay. Release. And he converts to follows him if, if we go for that. There we go, let's negotiate the lease. And let's play. Unyielding Defender Vassal. Despite Mayor Bennett's best efforts, nothing he tells me or demonstrates make any sense. This is a doomed venture. Is he a bad teacher or am I not cut out for this? Oh, greetings, Count Guthrie of you, girl. I have no choice but to accept your conditions for my release. And just looking at these hints. Yes, we have two counties with low control, which is Mallorca and Marcella. We've only got one marshal to bring that back up, so it takes a lot of time. And uh, we can claim uh, Legia's title. You already have a claim on this title. And a powerful vassal expects a council position. Is that still good? But. Yep. Gersbert doesn't have anything there that can help me. And I'm try, still trying to get these done. The county's back brought into control. Once they are under control, I'll put him back into that position. Oh, 
Isabel Sibylla to Barcelona again. 20 opinion of me. Woohoo! There we go. And let's have a look. What options could we use to get rid of Duke Burnett? What's the chance of this? No. That's a lot of stress, and uh, for only 29% chance of actually starting off with it. So no, we're not going to do that. What we are going to look at, actually, is some uh, realm and uh, domain. Uh, get and uh, holdings and hill farms. How do we bring that to foul pastures? We could. That brings us a lot more tax income. Yes, there we go. And let's upgrade that now. So, are we cult head of our culture again? Nope. Duke is the Duke is. So he's got seven, I've got six. I need one more Catalan County. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a Catalan County. Ooh. What's these people doing there? Oh, that's a forgotten through bishop. Uh, has been teaching some in orthodox doctrines, which is not helpful. But as we know, oh, um, education. Your heir won't become a great ruler without education. Let's select an uh, oh, I understand that. Right one there, and perhaps accept that. And we want envelopments. Organise March. Serve the Crown. Natural Dread. Natural Dread, yes. Some dot pass. So, we need... What's going on? Now we've been raided. Uh, hostilities will be ending in four months. Without organised courts, that's good. The Shield of Knowledge. I understand you're interested in deepening your grasping on warfare. Gulliam Gal Sira puts his chest as he approaches me. I might be able to help you see the battlefield in new ways. Gulliam Gal Sira is well known for his master of sound defence. If there was one who could help me understand, it would be him. Yes, I would love to learn. Yes, let's learn from Gulliam. And so, we have, what's our strength now? The child of my destiny, my courtier, Ludith, has given birth to a son. Since the little one is part of the Barcelona dynasty, he should be blessed with a good name. So, recall. Let's go with recall. That's a nice name. May he grow strong and wise. Okay, so, let's have a look at what the strength is. Particularly inferior, and he's got more gold than he does. 
so no rats play. Greetings, my implicable leech. I have been hosting your Chancellor Muon for some time now. The way he imposes himself on my home, all the while encouraging no less than grovelling servitude to you, disgusts me. What lord would send such a terrible representative? May a good spook of Andorra. Muon, what have you done? May Gusbert lose his 30 opinion of me for the next five years. Mm. My chances looks okay. Yep, I saw a better. Well, that's probably just Gus, May Gusbert being a bit of a a troublemaker. We could put Mayor Gisbert into the Chancellor position. Yeah, let's put him into the Chancellor position for the moment. That will probably help make him better, rather more well behaved. And whilst he's doing domestic in, uh, relations, he can't do much harm. Oh! Pouring the backwaters, I rub my throbbing temples as the function reads me that doesn't communicate from Mallorca this year. Several such important feasts have seen my control reign in recent months. A small tour of these remote lands is my God-given duty could place them a little more firmly under my confirm. On the other hand, my spymaster, Mayor Amongol, has invited me to a private feast. A good count visits his lessons occasionally. That would allow us Mayor Bennett, Mayor Bernat, uh, and Bernat and Matt. They gain a fair opinion of me. That's visiting Mallorca, Rosella, and Gorona. And the control for each of those goes by up by 30 points and we gain extensive feudal oversight for the next 15 years. Or I am obligated to go to that party. I want this because it's going to help with that control and bring in the money. And it's bringing in the money. With partner really struggling with that. So, yeah. Which ones are really struggling? Morocco seems to be struggling. That uh, county is not struggling anymore, which is good. Just so leave them do it for the time being. Oh, our neighbour ruler has lost the war. King Orti. That's the Kingdom of Navarre. It's also a war against Duke Diego of Cantabria. Cantabria, I mean. Ooh. What's going on here? Been splitting up. Oh, there's a little sultanate down here. Sultanate of Abdullah ibn Muhammad of Zenza. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. That's interesting. So, Iberia is all in complete chaos still. Probably keeps making it safe for us. And there's a lot of chaos going down here as well. What's going on with England? Nothing 
Mingle is not even formed. Still Marcia Jovic. Jovic. Yo, half Dan, white shirts. Jovic. We go also. Lincolnshire. He's hanging out with six Mercia, Grenade and Cornwall. Britain is still there. So just waiting for our chance to take Barcelona. Just going to check my age. 37. Probably want to do it soon. Then later. Got some gold now. Oh! Shield of Knowledge, Gulliam Garcia has shown me the ins and outs of sound defence. My final test is a mock battle against him to show you what I have learned. So we can prepare the ranks. We have 67% chance of victory or... Now I haven't fully understood what Gulliam has been trying to teach me, I believe. Uh, it doesn't say, but I can see the stress marker. But I don't want to get stressed, so let's prepare the rank. Woohoo! We've won that battle, I believe. Garcia comes riding up to me. Impressive, he shouts. The enemy levies stand in awe of the efficiency of my other troops. There can be no little, be little doubt that I have understood what it means to be a unyielding defender. What does this give, actually give me? Let's so have a look at this tool tip. And friendly fatal casualties minus 25%. Ooh, that's going to be coming in handy of what comes next. And declare war. Their strength has gone down to 1,728. As uh, mine's gone up, I've got direct control of 1,777 men. With my allies, 3,774. Yes, time is now. Let's declare war. So, bring up my army. And head to get this army there. Ooh, heresy. Wow. Dunsians in Benevento. Prince Ragnarsus of Benevento has announced to the world that he, he and his battles have converted to Waldensianism. Having become disillusioned with the teachings of the Catholic priests, the nobles of Benevento no longer consider the clergy to be righteous and true. As Waldensians, they believe their new faith properly aligns with the rule of God and they are distinguishing themselves from their former religious institutions. What twisted mockery of faith is this? Oh, you know, they do have some good points. And we join, and close family may convert with us, and vassals may convert with us. Ah, no. Let's... What twisted mockery of faith, our faith is this? Ah, stop running away! Oh, they're in the seas. Oh, they're running away. Stop running away! There you go. Battle of Perpinia. I'm going to check after this battle to see what actually happened. I want to see who, if any of my knights did quite well. So, uh, that's it. Ooh, 
enemy combatants captured, Count Oliver and Brengway. The Marshal of your Lord, Duke Burnett, after winning the Battle of Rosalo. And Rosalo under siege. There we go, so I want to get to here. And I want to see the battle results. Where did I see the battle results again? Do I need to let it play a little? No? Oh, here. That's, there we go. Oh, just do this first. And a man's home. Control defend, territory defender advantage plus five. And it's all strict organization. Stalwart leader. Paris up by four. Ooh. Reduces the risk of commanding armies. May challenge rivals to single combat and fixing stress if you win. Oh, let's see. Organize march. Yes. A little faster. There we go. And victory. I want to see the details for that. And we want our knights. And uh, oh, let's have a look. Who did well? Mayor Bernat of Amat. Oh, no. Mayor Bernat Amat of Olox. So I'm just going to make a note of that name. As he's killed 23. I like that number. So. So what I'm thinking of with this is taking their names and awarding them to become counts. Once I've then got the stucci. And I'm gonna also pick Gulliam Gulem Garcia as well. And we also got Baron Joan. Gurai, I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry, that's very bad of me, of Vilha. So we've got those three names, don't want to go for all of them, I'm quite happy to give three count, three people some counts, he's again, that's off we go. So, Let's get these chasing these guys down. Before they cause any damage. And he's got a uh, onager. We've got onagers. Ooh. My daughter, pray St. Bridget, still has given birth to a perfect little daughter who will become my child. Oh, who will you become, my child? And what shall I call you? So let's have a look at some Catholic and Catalan names. I like the Catalan names. Sora, Dolsa, Omengarda, Omengarda. May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter. There we go. And... Where have they gone? Oh, they're gone there. Stop running away! Face me like a man. There we go. Battle of River Gorza. There we go. That's 
clearly could be coming uh, victory for us. There we go, and I saw a procedural impasse. I am sitting around the map table with Mayor and Mongol and Mayor Gusbert, discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Mayor Mongol eagerly points out all of the prime targets we should immediately send raiding parties to pillage, while Gusbert nervously musters about how we should avoid unnecessary engagements and fight a war with Tricia and it is my right to decide the ultimate course of action. I know how we can employ both strategies. Ooh. So we would gain improved pillaging and avoidance for five years. Whoa, what? Improved pillaging. Siege phase time, minus 10%, minus 5 advantage. A hostile county attrition, minus 25%. And supply duration, 20%. And avoidance. This character is thinking of ways to save their own skin and minimise losses. Movement speed plus 10%, retreat losses minus 25, friendly cas fatal casualties minus 10, and attacking advantage minus 5. Ooh, 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 that looks good. Oh, a man a Mongol has the right idea here. I would rather use Mergert's bits plan. Or my commanders can act as they see fit. I'm going with this one. I know how we can employ both strategies. That ah, seems very good idea. And they have gone down. Oh, uh, oh, press the wrong button. Need to get chasing after them. When I get this army, who is it being controlled by? Mayor Falquart. Let's actually go on to the jewel now. And uh, let's get this barony of Barcelona, which has got. What city is it? Doesn't say. Sometimes uh, we got the bit with the past trees. The city of Cardona. Oh, it'll be a city of Barcelona, obviously. Why have I forgotten about that? It's obviously a namesake. Why? My mind has got some silly, silly me. Here we go. Sieging Barcelona. The cellar is under siege. Can't really do much, Charles. Because they do have an armchair. What's my military like? My armies. I have two slots for men at arms. Yeah. I probably need to look at my men at arms and change things up a little, maybe. Or if I become a duke, maybe I should get one other slot. Hopefully, I'll get one out of slot. If I remember, if it should have an extra slot as a duke, my mind slipping my memory for that. We'll find out soon enough. Then, once I've got this one, it would be Nova County. It's new for counties, so now I then have to dish out counties. Make some people some counts. Ooh! Oh, oh, there's armies, there's armies, there's armies. Where's this army come from? Oh, 
The Met Corps, my spy master has come to me with grave news. Well we do not know yet do not yet know who someone is killing to kill my guest Agnes. We must put a stop to the villain behind this. We expose that plot. Ooh, the army's there. I don't like the army being here. Come on, finish this siege. Finish this siege. Finish the siege of Barcelona. Pause the recording, no, pause the play, but we've now controlled Barcelona. And I just want to quickly check. Get them to get to here. Oh, that's what I wanted to check now. Can't crush that claim yet. We have to battle it out. Battle who Sida. We've had this one again. Oh, our knight. Oh, one of our knights has been wounded. Another wounded. Wounded? Isn't that dead? No. Allied combatants has been slain. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Fault pastures constructed in Nurgle. Right, now we need to go chase this army, chase these. Running away! Yeah, there we go. Battle of Montpellier. Oh, we were wounded. Oh, that's not good. And that just set off our. Oh, the fine notes have been killed. Knights are going everywhere. Ooh. I need to get rid of this army. Keep winning against them. We need to get rid of this army. No! There we go. Battle of Corona! This is taking its toll. Oh, Glum Garcia is gone. The way. Right, where is he now, I army? Mean? Oh, ah, so we're going to be. 
I'm gonna have to cut this short here now I'm running out of time for recording so this is going to be end of episode 2 now uh, where we're getting Guthrie the Harry of Ergo to become a Duke and we're not very far away becoming a Duke we just need to sort out uh, our prisoners, we've got some prisoners there I want to keep those in prison and uh, him our uh, leech Burnett must be in the army and I need to get him so that we can go ahead and put our claim on the Duchy of Barcelona and take it for ourselves. Thank you for watching and I hope you like and subscribe for more. Thank you very much. Goodbye.